Hey, welcome back to Triple R, Random Rick Reviews. Today we have Ghost Castle. It's a free game off Steam. It's actually a good free game off Steam, which is nice. Um, does it happen very often? <laughs> well, it happens every once in a while, but this game is, like, I think, really good, in my opinion. Uh, Ghost Castle says, Defeat the ghosts who live in the castle. Make full use of the ninja weapons and skills to aim for the top floor where the ghost boss, Yamatan Naruchi, is. Weapons such as rukens, bombs, and swords, and skills such as fire and freeze will surely help you keep the peace of the village. So, got our options here, new game. Pick two weapons first. So I've tried shuriken, bow guns, sword, and fire. You always want the sword, so you take that. That's like your melee attack. Uh, shuriken, not much damage, tells you what things do in the range. We're gonna take fire, because I think fire looks the coolest and does a lot of damage, you can take out multiple enemies sometimes <laughs> so they gotta be pretty close so here's our ninja can look around the environment here we start outside i'm gonna try to get the tipple and keep going up so on f1 i'm not sure where it ends i played for a while got pretty far like f10 or 15 i think something like that we got upgrades uh, your weapons here what you have equipped got fire so mask stuff you'll find your map, your ASCII map. So stairs, downstairs, what it looks like on the upper left hand side there on your mini map. Standard controls, except he doesn't have jump. <clears throat> he has a dash or a teleport. H to heal, which is very important. I can save any time. Your modes, just tell you at the bottom there, like how much damage enemies do. So the music is kind of just like a very in the background kind of music. I guess it's like haze we went for is for the, the ghost aspect of Ghost Castle. Well, it looks good. I think it fits. So there's this giant toad. So it hit me once. Already down to 36. This is all easy. So the enemies hit very hard. And this is level one. Fry that guy. Sword that guy. Uh, sword, I think, takes energy. Fire takes spirit. So you got your stats down there on the lower right hand corner. You know, what's equipped then left is a random place for your teleport and so you can walk around this these mazes outside here look for treasure chests kill these monsters for experience so you'll, you'll get as much gold as you can she'll eventually run into a merchant and she will sell you some goods but she also disappears after you go to the market or after you see her wares buy something once you back away from her she's gonna disappear and you can't go back into the store so two hits sounds like seven h to heal so we're gonna keep going up this is the purpose of the game so look for our stairs up if we can but also you do want to get as much gold as possible combat is pretty fun it's basic but it works for this game shoot slice uh, watch your energy levels. See my spirit's pretty low there. Uh, you just wait and it goes up on its own. There's no items, I don't think, to like increase that instantly. You can't increase your stats. So you're picking up those green orbs. I'll say like plus five points. Like kill this guy here. And on the upper right hand corner, yeah, point plus five. Get some gold. The levels look a little bit samey, but they did a good job with the map to help you out. Um, Kind of simplifying that. <laughs> it work. So, try those guys. Sometimes you get, like I said, uh, multiple enemies with fire. Sometimes. You know, heal up. Grab that. Some gold. And a lot of times, because like the murky look of the game, the enemies kind of blend in with the environment. So I'm sure that was on purpose to make it a little more difficult. You know, some of them, a lot of them are goofy looking enemies, <laughs> but they do uh, hit pretty hard. So we'll fry these guys. So we're looking to go up got this long kind of corridor. We got stairs over here. Tell them to get all the chests you can, all the gold you can, because uh, the shop thing is pretty expensive. And you also can find some items throughout the levels, like this, and a mask. <clears throat> go to your equipment, look at it, see what it does at the bottom there. 
uh, strength points increase attack 1% and you throw it over the equipment there if you want uh, weapons so you upgrade anytime which is nice so let's upgrade attack spirit and energy and you do have to hit all ok or it won't take so if you exit out you're, uh, it, it won't level up so make sure you hit all ok to level up and we're gonna keep exploring Try to go up a couple levels, hopefully run into the, uh, the girl with the items to buy. There's a lot of enemies on this one. And if you do see a lot of enemies, you really don't want to go in melee, because, like, it does take energy and you can, like, run out. And your hands will turn blue, it has to recharge. Uh, same thing for uh, Spirit. So you kind of lose your range, and then go in these melee. Quick kills. So sometimes they're hard to see. Usually hear them though. They have the Hi footsteps. There. You can usually hear them if they're standing like that. Yeah, right hey. here she is. She's gonna say, "I'm gonna ask to kill Yamato Urauchi. The dungeon looks rough. Let's cooperate." Say yes. Go to the shop. So. Usually two things, like one thing you can afford and one thing is really expensive. Uh, I don't know what a log scroll does. It doesn't say, it says get the log ability, hey. whatever that is. <laughs> Turn into a log, I guess. Don't I don't die. know. So grab the mask. So she's still there for now. So hit no. Got our mask here. Equip that. Back up a little bit. And see Ninja Smokes out. So we did glitch here a little bit. It's got to give us some time. And it's going to come back. And like I said, for a free Steam game, like this is like a minimal occurrence in this game. So it's easy to deal with. It's not a big deal. Like I said, it only took like maybe five seconds to fix itself. Because you can see how like the levels kind of render as you walk. You can look here. You see the temple over there. More bridges that we only get to. Your ASCII map over there has a long corridor. So a lot of enemies in this one. And that weasel thing is hard. That's like a little scythe they hit you with. There he is. <laughs> yeah, they will rock first off. So that's the premise of the game and kind of all the mechanics. You can get different abilities later, I think. Uh, switch things out, I think, when you talk to that girl. Uh, buy different equipment. Uh, upgrade on whenever you want, which is nice. And also save, I think, whenever you want. So, great game, I think. Ghost Castle, being free, plays correctly. Uh, it's fun to play. Kind of makes you want to keep going up levels to see what's next. Uh, the environment will change from this like forest green kind of thing, rock level into like a temple level and I don't know what from there if so it's gonna be all temple from that but I've got like into like the castle area so it's pretty fun recommend it you know what 8.5 out of 10 I know I give a lot of 8 out of 10s but this is really good I like it it's free um, ghost castle 8.5 out of 10 thanks for watching triple R have a good day or night wherever you are